Wondering what causes moon phase, when it starts, and what you can do about it? Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist, and I found a super secret French study that answers these questions, and I got it translated into English. So this might be the first time anyone in the English language has ever read this study. I don't know. Maybe there are some bilingual French-English speakers out there who did, or someone else could have translated it before me. But with the help of ChatGPT and AI, they translated it into English for me. So I can share with you the answers to these really important moon face questions. I reached out to the actual author of the study. His name is Professor Lawrence Farday. And maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that's how I can read his name. And he, I would say, is the number one researcher when it comes to moon face. He is, seems to be the most curious about what is causing moon face and other changes in the fat caused by prednisone. Others have basically glossed over this. Other researchers have just not covered this topic because prednisone is a super old drug and nobody bothered to do the studies about it because it was approved before the FDA required lots of studies. And then the manufacturer has been out of business longer than I've been alive. And so the studies have just never been done. So private researchers like Professor Farday in France are the only ones doing the studies. So I wanted to share with you the results of his studies so you know exactly what there is to know about moon face. So Professor Farday used a group of people who would be on prednisone for a long time. A lot of people take prednisone short term and for many different conditions. It can be anything from your eyes to your kidneys, to your skin, to your lungs, and anything in between. The only type of doctor who doesn't prescribe prednisone is a psychiatrist. So he needed to choose a population that was likely to be on prednisone long term and there were similar reasons for taking it. And so he chose a disease called giant cell arteritis. And people don't normally get this until they're older. And it is inflammation of the cells in the arteries, usually the temporal arteries, the arteries on either side of your skull. And it can lead to blindness if untreated. So it's really important for the treatment to happen. And there are a few alternatives. There are a few more that have come out in the last years. But when he did this study, there was literally no other option to prevent the blindness from happening. So he recruited 37 patients into this study and 73% of them were women. The average age was 75 plus or minus seven years. So you've got to take these results with that grain of salt, that these were mostly older women and these results may not apply to younger people or to men as much. It definitely applies to older women who have giant cell arteritis. And the average dose that they started with was 44 milligrams of prednisone. And then they were followed up on average about two years. So the goal of the study was to find out what percentage of people get moon face? And because moon face is a really imprecise term when it comes to medical literature, he redefined it. And that word is really big, but I thought it would be fun to say it out loud. It's corticosteroid induced lipodystrophy. Yeah, corticosteroid meaning prednisone, induced means causing, and lipo meaning fat, and dystrophy meaning weird changes. And then the type of lipodystrophy that you can call moon face is cervicofacial lipodystrophy. <laughs> Cervico meaning this area of your spine and, and back of your neck and facial. Cervicofacial lipodystrophy is his term for moon face. That's the medical term. And they found out that 48% of the people in the study got moon face at three months. So about half of women who started out at 44 milligrams of prednisone had moon face at three months of therapy. That was about the same for me. So, you know, it applied to my situation. And then that number increased to 60% of the study participants at 12 months had moon face. So you'll notice here that the higher the dose, the longer the treatment, the more likely the moon face. It's essentially how are milligram, like every milligram matters. And so the more milligrams, the more likely the moon face. The average time for onset of moon face was three months. And that's interesting because these women really did start out at a pretty high dose. And the average time that the moon face started was three months. This last sentence 
I wish he'd elaborated on more, but he didn't. He said, the median time to disappearance of lipodystrophy after initiation of corticosteroid therapy was 19 months with a medium dose of prednisone four milligrams a day at the time of disappearance. And disappearance after 19 months after starting therapy, like after that first dose. So like they started out high dose of prednisone and then they tapered off slowly and that took 19 months. And by then they were at four milligrams. I'm not really fully clear about what that sentence means, but that's what he's saying is that's when he could say moon face was disappearing, was essentially at four milligrams. That's super helpful. So how in the world would a scientist decide whether something is moon face or whether somebody is just kind of a person with a round face? So here are the ways he defined moon face. The four criteria for moon face. First, they took pictures before the study started and throughout the study. And what they looked for was a round face. That was the first criteria. Second criteria was smoothing of the nasolabial folds. So your smile wrinkles from your nose to your lips, that fold disappears when you take prednisone and get moon face. Some people are really grateful for their wrinkles to disappear while on prednisone. You kind of, you know, get that baby face a little bit rounder. And in a way that's a blessing. Like we can be grateful for that detail, right? That nasolabial fold disappearing was the second outcome he was looking for. The third was the appearance of a double chin. So I'm not on prednisone right now, and you can see a very clearly defined chin. But when I had moon face on prednisone, it was all round. This was all rounded. There was not a line here. It was just kind of uh, not fun. And then the fourth was the appearance of a buffalo hump. So that's the fat redistribution onto the area between your scapula and the back of your neck area so that you look kind of like a buffalo with their big hump. So those are the four ways they decided somebody had moon face. How would you define it if you were the scientist? I would love to know. If you were to do a study on moon face, what would you be looking for? How would you say, oh, they clearly have moon face. They clearly don't have moon face. What would you be looking for? And then what would you like to know more about moon face? Please drop it in the comments below because I would love if somehow I could, you know, sync with some researcher out there and do a study like this. I would love to know more about moon face because there's just not a lot done. So if you know a researcher, you have a great doctor who has a lot of prednisone patients, put me in touch with them. And then if you want to know what you can do to minimize moon face, download my cheat sheet of exactly what you can do to minimize prednisone side effects. It's called the prednisone checklist. I go through the top side effects like moon face, weight gain, insomnia, osteoporosis, and the things you can actually do to minimize those things. So just click the link below to download it now. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.